Hi, welcome to the garden. It's Getty from GettyStewart.com here with the kohlrabi. It is time to harvest this vegetable. And in German, kohlrabi means cabbage turnip. And have a look at this guy. He um, looks like a little bit of a turnip, but grows above ground like a cabbage. And in fact, he is part of the cabbage or brassica uh, family and offers all those nutritional benefits. Now, when they're about this size, it's a perfect time to harvest. So we're gonna take this guy and we're gonna pull the entire plant out of the, the ground, roots and all. And there we go. Now we're gonna take this and head to the kitchen and make a delicious kohlrabi and kale slaw. So here we are in the kitchen with our freshly harvested kohlrabi and I'm excited to share with you this kohlrabi kale slaw recipe. But before we get to it, let's talk about these little kohlrabi. And if you're going to the store to get your kohlrabi, what I recommend you look for is kohlrabi that's small to medium rather than large to extra large. Because with kohlrabi, bigger is not necessarily bigger, uh, better. Um, as kohlrabi ages, it tends to get a little bit woody. And so if you're looking um, at, in the store, look for kohlrabi that's about two to four inches in uh, diameter. So these guys are perfect. If you happen to get a kohlrabi with these fresh little green leaves on top, that's a great sign of freshness. Oftentimes they are removed. You may also find purple versions of, uh, of these kohlrabi and both are super tasting and you can't go wrong regardless of which one you choose. Um, the flavor of kohlrabi is sort of a cross between a cabbage and a very mild radish. Um, another way people have described it is it, that it tastes like the stem of a broccoli once it's peeled. So uh, super mild. I've enjoyed this as a, as, as a kid um, when I was very young. So super mild and enjoyable. The way to start is by removing the leaves. Now do keep these leaves because you can use them as well. In any dish that uses um, dark leafy greens like beet greens or Swiss chard, uh, kale or even spinach in a cooked uh, dish, you can use these uh, kohlrabi leaves as well. So as you can see, they're quite easy to just snap off. So uh, we're gonna set those aside. And now we have our little kohlrabis and we can take these leaves off as well. Now, the next thing we want to do is remove uh, the, the bottom root end, if you still have a little bit of that remaining. And then we want to peel our uh, kohlrabi and uh, just a thin layer. I find using a paring knife is uh, easier because you do have to get around those little bumps from the, from the leaves but um, sometimes a, a vegetable peeler, peeler would work as well. So we are just going to peel these and then we are going to use our box grater. And we pull out our box grater. And the idea is that we get about equal parts of uh, kale and red cabbage and uh, carrots. And so we're going to grate two, maybe three kohlrabi as we go. And so basically I have my little orb and I'm gonna grate away. Ta-da, our kohlrabi is all finished being grated. And this was the two kohlrabis that you saw. So perfect size and perfect amount for the rest of our ingredients. Now, before we assemble uh, all of these, uh, what we need to do it first is to make our salad dressing. And we are going to use a Honey Dijon uh, vinaigrette. And the way we do this is we start with one third cup of canola oil. And I like using canola oil because it's flavorless. flavorless. So that neutral flavor really allows all the other ingredients to uh, shine through. Um, I also like the fact that it's grown right here. So supporting our local farmers and it goes with the theme of having a fresh local seasonal uh, recipe on the go. So uh, one third cup of uh, canola oil. I also have some um, white wine vinegar, so I'm going to add two tablespoons of that. Measuring very carefully. One, two. Now I'm gonna add some honey, and a uh, quick tip here 
If you add a little bit of oil to your uh, measuring spoon before you dip it into the honey, you are going to get honey that just slides off the spoon like nobody's business. Let's see if that's true. Beautiful. Just a little bit around the, the tip where I missed with the, with the oil, but that's a great tip, especially if you're using a measuring cup and you want to measure a large amount of honey, um, put a little bit of oil around it first. And we are also going to use one tablespoon of Dijon mustard. And we are adding a little bit of salt and pepper. Now the beauty of doing it in a jam jar or a jar like this is you can just shake that jar and um, those ingredients will blend very nicely. And then it's always a good idea to taste your, your um, vinaigrettes and your dressings because you don't want to start mixing a salad and not have a great tasting dressing. Um, so look at how nice and creamy that is. And then having just a little bit of a taste. Mm. So that is perfect. Just a little bit of tang from the Dijon that honey coming through which will give this a lovely flavor and we are set to go so let's bring our bowl over and we are going to start adding our ingredients starting with the green kale followed by our purple cabbage and our carrots And then now for our kohlrabi, the star of the show. Now using kohlrabi in a dish like this is a great way to introduce people to, um, to kohlrabi if it's a new uh, vegetable to, uh, to them. So it, um, it's pretty, pretty mild flavored and gives people a, a chance to explore it. Now I'm just going to toss our salad together. You can mix this up two or three days in advance. Keep it in the fridge for at least, you know, I'd say three, maybe even four, four days. You may need to spice it up a little bit because the vegetables will soak up all that flavor. Um, but it it's one of those salads that will last for a few days in the fridge for sure. So now I'm also going to add some dill. Now the recipe says two teaspoons, but if you like a lot of dill, just Add more dill so basically however much you like I really like dill so I'm adding that in um, and now we are going to add our dressing um, giving it one final stir and then adding it all in so we get maximum flavor and give it a final toss and that is all it takes to make a delicious kohlrabi kale slaw. I hope you give it a try and stay tuned for more kohlrabi recipes at gettystuart.com.